The Polish are very nice and friendly. Extremely blonde and beautiful. <laughs> Energetic. Disciplined and hardworking. German are uh, warm and welcoming. Kids are quite extrovert. Uh, I had fun with them. I think they're eager to do their work. I think they're, they're ambitious and I think they want to like uh, have success. Very loud and very fun. I don't have a problem with them. And the Greeks are very funny. Friendly. I'm competitive. <laughs> very loud and too loud. Always ready to take an action. They're very sweet too. The Turks are very welcoming. And confident, I guess. So happy. If I could change uh, uh, nationality, uh, I would choose uh, the Polish one because there is a lot of cold in Poland and I would like to get used to cold. Yeah, I would change my nationality for uh, this conference uh, to Turkish nationality because the winter is like summer in Poland. Um, I'm a judge and I'm very happy about it. It was my first choice and my wish and um, I'm lucky so today I hadn't like talked that much but I have to prepare my verdict now and my sentence for the case tomorrow. Um, I think it's interesting because I have to like consider both sides and I have to come to a conclusion and to a final statement based on like several things like the law and the Rome statue and I'm not trying to convince somebody but I have to like like combine everything, every opinion. I think it's um, very challenging and we have some like challenges in life to improve ourselves and like to see what we can do and not and I think it was like a good experience with my role for me so that I can learn how it was like to be in defense. So my role as a prosecutor in the case of Simon Bikini and I'm very happy with that. That's the, the role I wanted to get. Yeah, I think it's a very interesting case. I'm from the press team and I'm very happy with it. Uh, at first I didn't choose it, but now we can create some beautiful work and we can be social with uh, our new friends. I think it's just one of the best educational experiences that I have witnessed um, in my time as a teacher. This is the fifth time that we are taking part and um, yeah, seeing the students engage in such difficult um, issues, legal issues, human rights issues, um, really assuming roles of defendants and judges and uh, prosecution and also the press team of course, um, is really amazing to really see how they engage with each other and solve such difficult questions. It's um, an unforgettable experience which uh, the students from my country for a small town in the northwest of Poland uh, can uh, have. So I really appreciate being invited to that uh, project and I think that uh, um, everybody should once at least in a lifetime see something like that, take part some, in such an activity and be part of a community of uh, such wonderful students, participants, teachers, trainers. It's really great. And I have had a chance to observe my students and uh, uh, they know that um, interacting with students from other culture is a kind of precious maybe a chance for them because you may not get together with people from three or four different nations and different I think, regions of the world and so often so it's a kind of opportunity of course. Well, you have some pretty nice places and buildings, like um, the houses are too big 
and uh, they're way too modern than Greece. I mean, like, you have some pretty nice style, I like that, and it's clean, it's very clean. Um, the cuisine is pretty nice, I pretty like it, I pretty much like it, and the school is amazing. I mean, like, it is glorious. <laughs> Um, the first thing when I landed, it, I noticed is that the streets are kind of clean because there are no gums on the floor like in Germany. The food is very delicious. Um, the people are very nice. The students got along really, really well. Um, it was uh, also the first time that from day one um, on we saw them mingle really much and they like putting together the tables at dinner and really um, exchanging a lot of uh, insights and lots of experiences. So yeah, it was a mixed group from the beginning. That was really amazing to see because normally um, the groups are more separate. So if I would need to summarize 2022 uh, from the base of the MICC program, I would say it was a really successful year because it has proven actually the capacities, the knowledge, but also the courage which the MICC team has uh, in all of this kind of difficult situations when it comes to COVID-19, but also into the internal changes which were taking place into the team.